President Obama is on his way to Argentina at this hour. Earlier, he completed his historic journey to communist Cuba, where he promised to let Cubans, or at least their dictators, determine their own destiny. I've made it clear that the United States has neither the capacity nor the intention to impose change on Cuba. What changes come will depend upon the Cuban people. We will not impose our political or economic system on you. We recognize that every country, every people must chart its own course and shape its own model. Well, as we showed, showed you earlier, the president's public response to the terror attacks was actually pretty brief, fairly low key. Let's get reaction now from syndicated columnist Charles Krauthammer. He's in Washington tonight. Charles, uh, he obviously topped off that speech with a statement about the attacks and how the world needs to be unified. This trip is obviously being overshadowed now by the events in Brussels. Well, Obama gave the terror bomb 51 seconds of his speech today in Havana. I thought the whole story of this presidency and its foreign policy was seen in the split screen. On one side you had the video footage of the attack in Belgium. This is the real world. And on the other side was Obama in the fantasy world he inhabits where Cuba is of some geopolitical significance in his mind but none in the real world. If Cuba disappeared tomorrow in a volcanic eruption like Santorini, nobody would notice geopolitically. But Obama had to go because this is legacy. This is settling the Cold War arguments of the academic left of Obama's Columbia University days. The people who worshiped the Cuban Revolution, the Sandinistas. Obama had his picture taken in front of a relief of Che Guevara, which sort of stated his worldview of his adolescent days, and now he does it as president. On the one hand, is the real threat to the world. You heard from Chairman McCall, this is hair raising stuff that the Belgians are completely outmanned, the Europeans have no way of tracking, and that we are completely in the blind. We don't know what we don't know. That's the real world. Obama calls it the JV team. He pretends it's contained and controlled. It is not. Instead, he does this sort of ideological holiday trip in Cuba while the world burns. Quickly, there is criticism, obviously, uh, from Republicans about you know whether he should have stopped this trip short, whether he shouldn't have gone to the baseball game today, and the image of all of that, and doing the wave uh, at the baseball game. Uh, your thoughts on all of that? I don't think a president should cut short his trip because it is sort of handing a victory to the terrorists. Moreover, the trip to Argentina is important because Argentina is an important country and it, it's just had to change the regime to a favorable pro-American one. But he should never have been on the trip in the first place and he needs to make a speech about world terrorism and what he's going to do. Charles, as always, thank you.